ദൈവജനത്തോട് ഒരു പ്രത്യേക അഭ്യർത്ഥനയുണ്ട് ഈ ശുശ്രൂഷ തുടങ്ങിയ സമയം തൊട്ട് എല്ലാം ഏകദേശം എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും മലയാളത്തിലായിരുന്നു എന്നാൽ ഗിഫ്റ്റിയുടെ സഭയിൽപ്പെട്ട ധാരാളം ആളുകൾ ഇത് ഓൺലൈൻ കണ്ടുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് അവർക്ക് മലയാളം ഒരു വാക്കു പോലും മനസ്സിലാകത്തില്ല അതിൻ്റെ കൂടെ തന്നെ ഗിഫ്റ്റിയുടെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് അൽജോയുടെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് പിന്നെ ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ശുശ്രൂഷയ്ക്ക് പോയാൽ ഈ ഓൺലൈൻ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് കാണാൻ വേണ്ടി വരുന്ന നോൺ മലയാളീസ് ധാരാളമുണ്ട് ഇവരെയെല്ലാം ഓർത്ത് ഒരു പത്ത് മിനിറ്റ് ഞാൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷിൽ സംസാരിക്കുന്നതായിരിക്കും അതുപോലെ വിവാഹ ശുശ്രൂഷ ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലായിരിക്കും മലയാളം അറിയാൻ വയ്യാത്തത് കൊണ്ടല്ല അവരെ കൂടെ അക്കോമഡേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാനാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് ദൈവജനം ഞാൻ ഇനി മലയാളം ഉപയോഗിക്കാത്തത് അതെന്നെ ക്ഷമിക്കണം എന്ന് ആദ്യമേ അഭ്യർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഗോഡ്സ് നെയിം ബി ഗ്ലോറിഫൈഡ് ദ മോമെൻറ്റ് ഐ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് സ്പീക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ദ ലോക്കൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് പെർഹാപ്സ് മെനി ഓഫ് യു ഹു ആർ ഓൺലൈൻ മൈറ്റ് ഹവ് വണ്ടേഡ് വെദർ യു വുഡ് ഹാവ് ടു എൻഡ് യുവർ അനദർ മെസ്സേജ് ഇൻ ലോക്കൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് നോ ഫോർ ദ സേക്ക് ഓഫ് ദോസ് ഹു ആർ വാച്ചിങ് this entire ministry online i'll do it in english this is definitely one of the most important activities that a church has getting the children wedded the scripture reminds us that a wedding is one of the most important spiritual activities ബ്രദർ ജയൻ ഹു സ്പോക്ക് ബിഫോർ മീൻ മലയാളം ലാംഗ്വേജ് എംഫസൈസ് വൺ പോയിന്റ് ഐ ലവ് ദാറ്റ് മെസ്സേജ് ബ്രദർ ദ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു ഡെലിവേഡ് എ മെസ്സേജ് ഇൻ മൈ മാരേജ് ഹി ഹാഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് പോയിന്റ്സ് ഐ ഡോൺ റിമെമ്പർ ഈവൻ വൺ ഓഫ് ദം ഹി ഗേവ് യു വൺ പോയിന്റ് ക്രിസ്ത്യൻ മാരേജ് ഈസ് ഫൗണ്ടഡ് അപ്പോൺ വിസ്ഡം ആൻഡ് മൈ ഡിയർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ you will never forget that keep praying for wisdom along with that i would like to add one more point we find that in genesis 2 verse 18 we have heard this verse a hundred times but often because of translation or cultural prejudices we do not get the exact meaning Genesis 2:18 says the Lord God said it is not good that the man should be alone that much is clear to everyone but we often forget that it is not good for the woman also to be alone which is said in many other portions of the word of God I will make him a help fitting for him we have been listening to this verse all our lives and this verse has been quoted in front of us hundreds of times but unfortunately because of cultural prejudices we have misinterpreted what the word of god says and because of those cultural pre- prejudices in many christian marriages woman has become just a helper a help she is seen only as a help if you go to a laboratory there will be a supervisor there will be lab technicians and there will be some who don't know anything they just clean the lab they are known as helpers and when the word help is used here for women many because of cultural prejudices have reduced women to just a helper what the scripture says here is i will make him a companion who is suitable for him and therefore aljo and gifty this morning do you know why you need wisdom because if two people have to walk together you need wisdom If you want companionship you have to walk 
So I want to join this verse along with what Brother Jain said. Marriage is not one person serving another. Marriage is companionship between two people. And the word of God is very emphatic that marriage is companionship. And companionship is a very difficult thing because two people may have four different kinds of natures. Some people, in, if you look at some weddings, some marriages, there are only two people but they may have 20 different kinds of natures. That's natural, that's the way God has made us. But for those people to control their temperaments, fellowship with each other, behave as companions, what they need is wisdom. And therefore, my beloved children, may God allow both of you a lot of companionship. And for that, may both of you seek divine wisdom every day, every moment of your life. And there is something which Ephesians reminds us, Ephesians 2.10. We have been made for good works. I'll quote, don't have to open the Bible. I'll quote, we have been made for good works. When you together, when you walk as companions, when you seek wisdom from God, you will have various responsibilities towards each other. You will have various responsibilities towards your parents. Aljo, you had only two parents till now. From today you will have four. And Gifti, it's the same. You had two parents. From today you are going to have four. You have to have much wisdom to deal with them. We all have an extended family. We need much wisdom to be part of that extended family. We are all members of a church. We need much wisdom to be members of that church. And therefore, this morning, repeatedly I want to emphasize my dear brothers and sisters, for the last many decades, the foundation of Christian marriage has been destroyed because of cultural reasons. And it is because of that that we, we fail to emphasize that Christian marriage is companionship. Christian marriage is companionship. And when two people of different temperaments become companions, they need wisdom. Fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Wisdom comes from God, the author of wisdom. And therefore, all those who are listening online and everyone here and particularly Aljo and Gifti, beloved children, every day, moment by moment, pray for wisdom so that that wisdom might help you to become best of the best companions. And there, your marriage life will be successful and everything will be added unto you. Seek ye things above, all these things shall be added unto you. I think that is enough of exhortation and uh, reminder from the word of God. When the MC introduced me, he mentioned that it's wonderful to see me standing here healthy. Very true, brother. I am thankful to the Lord. Very, very thankful to the Lord. And many of you, in fact, most of you who know me, you pray tearfully that Lord may give me healing. And the Lord granted me healing. I thank God for that. And now, we are going to enter into that stage or that phase for which we have been waiting. We are gathered here for a wedding. All of you know that. The bride is Gifti Mol Vargis, daughter of Vargis Plamutil, Plamutil Joseph and Mrs. Maggie Mol Vargis, who attend the Bethel Brethren Assembly, Tengod. 
Gifty Mall has been associated with Delhi Brethren Assembly and then with Banks and Gospel Hall Australia. The groom is Aljo Baby, son of Mr. Baby Abraham and Mrs. Susan Baby. Aljo was associated from childhood with Christian Brethren Church East Fort Trishur. After that, he has been associated with Deira Brethren Assembly Dubai for three years. I thank God for this blessed opportunity to get them united in holy matrimony today. Since I am going to conduct the wedding ceremony, I definitely need to know if there is any objection to the proposed wedding. It's a legal requirement. The prolonged silence of everyone for the last several months of planning during the entire period, everybody remained silent, that prolonged silence and also the joyful presence of family members, friends, church members shows that there is no objection, shows that there is wide endorsement and therefore before I ask them to stand up, I want to tell you one thing. And most of the preachers are now omitting this stage or this part of a Christian wedding. I do not want to omit it. Because I am ministering here to please God, not to please man. And therefore, the portion which is now getting omitted from brethren marriages, I am going to speak it out here. You have been silent all these months when you had a reason or you had an opportunity to speak out. Therefore, today, in the name of God, I remind all of you, if you had any reason to speak out, minor or major, but if you remain silent all these months, then in front of God and in front of man, I request you to remain silent, not only today or tomorrow, all your life. If you break this, we don't like to say these things, but I want to say this, because marriage is not to be taken lightly. If you break this, may God punish you in a suitable manner. It's our privilege to make their marriage a blessed marriage. And therefore, let us take our responsibility to speak and responsibility to remain silent very, very seriously in front of God. The choir will now sing Inni Mangalam Shobikyuvan Karanagachega Meanwhile, the bride and the groom might stand up and come to my right and left. Aljo, you come to my right. It's more convenient for you to walk the long distance and we will give more privilege to the girl. Yes. Nam shubhikuva karuna chega ennu pani ulla deivane. Inni mangalam shubhikuva karuna chega ennu pani ulla deivane. Ninnadi kana ulmani. Pandal pandal angarichu Ninnadi kanavil mani Pandal pandal angarichu Angurasa vinyu taki Enna poli neram vannu Angurasa vinyu taki Enna poli neram vannu Inni mangalam shobhikyu vaan Karuna chegai Ennu kani ulla deivane Karuna chegai 
என்னும் கனி உள்ள தெய்வமே you have informed their willingness to marry each other to their families and church members and to me also however all of this was done in the confines of home and church today they need to make a public declaration about it in front of this congregation in front of the family god and also in front of me who is here to conduct this wedding i am going to ask them for a public declaration of whether it is whether they are ready for wedding or not okay so when i ask you specifically you have to give me an answer i'll ask him first dear aljo Are you ready to accept Gifty as your only wife? Are you willing to live with her, with you as the head of the family in a manner fitting for a child of God? If yes, you need to respond to my next question. Aljo, are you willing and ready to marry Gifty? Yes. God bless you, my son, my child. Gifty? I am going to ask a similar question. Dear Gifty, are you ready to accept Aljo as your only husband and the head of the family? Are you willing to live with him in a manner fitting for a child of God? If yes, you need to respond to my next question. Gifty, are you willing to accept Aljo as your husband? Yes, I am willing. I'm willing. I'm willing. God bless you abundantly. my child since gifty and aljo have publicly declared their desire and willingness to get married they shall extend and hold their right hands extend and hold extend and hold yes saaram illa don't worry everybody makes mistakes okay that's part of marriage life that's a fun you will learn much and you will never forget that johnson uncle said these things i did not assist them in shaking hands usually preachers assist them i did not because ultimately our children need to learn to do things on themselves learn from their mistakes also so that they can correct Now this is a visible demonstration of their mutual acceptance for life God will honor this commitment Now with this visible demonstration of shaking hands they will also make a public covenant with each other Aljo will be the first as the man of the house and Gifty will be the second all you and gifty and family members please remember that this covenant you are going to make is an irrevocable covenant in front of god and man agreed yeah do you agree okay now let's take the oaths i aljo baby i aljo baby accept you gift him all accept you gift him all as my only wife as my only wife i do this i do this out of my free will out of my free will and without any external compulsion and without any external compulsion i promise to love you i promise to love you and cherish you and cherish you during times of comfort during times of comfort and also in trials and also in trials during health and sickness during health and sickness in affluence and in times of want in affluence and in times of woe in favorable and unfavorable unfavorable circumstances of life in favorable and unfavorable circumstances of life 
I promise to fulfill I promise to fulfill all the obligations all the obligations a Christian has of a Christian husband of a Christian husband as the leader of the family as the leader of the family I also promise to fulfill this covenant I also promise to ful- fulfill this covenant till death parts us till death parts us or or till our lord removes us till our, our lord removes us from the earth from the earth to his presence from uh, with his presence yeah, in his presence yes. i make this covenant i make this covenant in the presence of in the presence of the triune god the triune god the church the church and my family members and my family members may the good lord may the good lord help me help me to be faithful to be faithful in these matters in these matters god bless you my son thank you now gift imol will be making an irrevocable covenant i gift imol vargis i gift imol vargis accept you aljo baby accept you aljo baby as my only husband as my only husband and head of the family and head of the family i do this i do this out of my free will out of my free will and without any external compulsion and without any external compulsion i promise to love you i promise to love you cherish you cherish you and obey you and obey you during times of comforts during times of comforts and also in trials and also in trials during health during health and during sickness and during sickness in affluence in affluence and in times of want and in times of wants in favorable in favorable and unfavorable and unfavorable circumstances, circumstances. i promise to fulfill i promise to fulfill all the obligations all the obligations of a christian wife of a christian wife i also promise to fulfill i also promise to fulfill this covenant this covenant till death parts us till death parts us or till or till our lord removes our lord removes us from earth us from earth to his presence to his presence i make this covenant i make this covenant in the presence of the in the presence of the triune god triune god the church the church and my family members and my family members may the good lord may the good lord may the good lord help me help me to be faithful in these matters to be faithful in these matters sarpurami kararinu ennalla paattu paadunnayirikkum you both keep holding your hands okay surpurami karavino sakshi my beloved children as the person who got you covenanted with each other i am going to dedicate both of you in prayer okay now <clears throat> we are going to dedicate our children into god's hands a wedding is an amazing event and therefore as a mark of our love honor and respect for these children all of us who are able bodied let us stand up let us dedicate them into god's hand heavenly father the most important events in the bible are related to a first wedding a last wedding and also a wedding 
as the start of Lord Jesus ministry at Cana. We realize what an important event it is, not only for man, but also for you. Thank you, praise you, and we adore you for this institution, this divinely instituted institution of marriage. We commit both of our children into your hands. We pray that you may bless them, that you may give them health and strength and wisdom and an amazing amount of companionship. Help them to seek wisdom, seek companionship and also be a blessing to their parents, their extended family, their church and every person with whom they come in contact. And Father, once again, we thank you for this occasion. We commit our children into your hands. We bless them in your name. And we commit them into your hands. And thankfully ask all these things in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep holding your hands. Don't leave. Audience may please be seated. Dear Aljuan, Lot of people get married in this world. But your marriage was covenanted or I conducted your marriage on a biblical foundation and both of you also fully agree that this is a Bible based Christian marriage and therefore I am going to read some verses from the word of God you may, both of you may forget all this because I understand that both of you might be under a lot of stress doesn't matter Try to focus as much as possible on what I am reading from the word of God. Ephesians 5.22 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as unto the Lord. 5.24 Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be subject to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Love your wife, respect your husband. Both of you are companions. Never forget that. I am also going to read a per portion from the word of God. This is basically as a, an exhortation to both of you uh, never to break this. Matthew 19.3 says, Some Pharisees came to him to test him and they asked him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? for any and every reason. It says a man because in those cultures it was man who used to divorce. In our culture it has become a common practice for man or woman and therefore the word of God in today's context can be understood as is it lawful for a man or a woman to divorce each other. The word of God says he made them male and female, that is fourth verse, last portion, and said, for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, whom God has joined together, 
let no one separate my children this is going to be another covenant and oath in front of god i am going to read that last portion and both of you should audibly mike is not here so you need to speak a little loudly and i want you to speak loudly you have to audibly say amen therefore whom god has joined together let no one separate today the almighty and merciful god has joined you as husband and wife may the good lord help both of you to obey his word and lead a highly exemplary life may he also give you long age health strength multiple generations and may you both create an impact for the lord in this world god be praised now you can leave your hands temporary okay the newly consecrated husband and wife shall sign the register while the choir sings a song of felicitation വിവാഹം കഴിഞ്ഞു അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു രേഖ ഞാൻ അവർക്ക് കൈമാറാൻ പോവുകയാണ് ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് ഡിക്ലറേഷൻസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോവുകയാണ് എന്നാൽ ഇത്രയും സമയം അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി കൊടുത്തു രണ്ട് മിനിറ്റ് ഞാൻ എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി എടുക്കാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു നിങ്ങളെല്ലാവരെയും എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി വളരെ മുഖ്യമായിട്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചു ഹ്യൂമർ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് ആറുമാസം കഴിഞ്ഞ് എൻ്റെ കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം നടന്ന സ്കാനിങ്ങിൽ എവറി തിങ് ഈസ് ഓൾ റൈറ്റ് എന്ന് ഡോക്ടർ പറഞ്ഞു പിന്നെ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ ആദ്യത്തെ വിവാഹമാണ് ഞാൻ നടത്തുന്നത് അതാ ഇടയ്ക്കിടയ്ക്ക് വെള്ളം കുടിക്കുന്നതായിട്ടത് കുറച്ചുകൂടെ ഹെൽത്ത് വേണം അതിനു വേണ്ടി ദൈവജനം എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി തുടർന്നും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം എന്ന് അഭ്യർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു അൽജു ആൻഡ് ജെസ്റ്റി നിങ്ങൾ വിവാഹിതരായി അതിനുള്ള ഒരു റിട്ടേൺ ഡോക്യുമെൻ്റ് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് തരുവാൻ പോവുകയാണ് നിങ്ങൾ രണ്ടുപേരും നിങ്ങളുടെ സ്ഥലത്തൊന്ന് എഴുന്നേറ്റ് നി നിന്നാൽ ദിസ് ഐ വിൽ ഹാൻഡ് ഓവർ ടു യു രണ്ടുപേരും കൂടെ I will ask you to stand up once again. Nothing surprising, the whole of marriage life is made up of a lot of standing, lot of sitting and lot of other things. Okay, little bit of quarreling and lot of apologizing. Okay, lot of expressing love. This is all part of companionship. and may the lord help both of you to have companionship in abundance everything else only as a minute part of your wedded life i am going to once again uh, dedicate them in prayer this is basically a dedicatory prayer you don't have to stand up please remain in your places it's my privilege once again to dedicate them mr aljo babe isn't it mrs kifty aljo right it's my privilege to present them as husband and wife in front of you let us once again dedicate them in our prayers heavenly father 
we thank you and praise you for this opportunity we commit our children into your hands bless them we also dedicate their families everyone that you may bless all of them particularly that the children might have an amazingly wonderful wedded life thank you and praise you in jesus name we offer these thanks and prayers amen I want to make one more declaration. Often it is declared that legally and in front of God they are wedded. I conducted this wedding under the authority given to me by the government of India under what is known as the Special Marriage Act. so under special marriage act from the authority given to me by the government of india and also as a minister of god and the special authority given by god i want to remind you and i want to remind all of you from today they are husband and wife they have all privileges of being a husband and a wife and to you too i want to remind you privately all privileges come with obligations okay so you have both privilege and also obligation god bless you my children please be seated